Hey everybody, this is The Hybrid and welcome back to Wolf Among Us. This is episode 4 in Sheep's Clothing. I just downloaded it and I can't wait to get started because this game is awesome. I love it. And uh, let's see where it takes us to this time around. Um, so let's go ahead and just push play right here. And let's get started. I'm excited. I don't know what's going to happen next. Start episode 4. Why yes. Dun, dun, dun. Pretty sure it's going to show us a recap of what we've been up to. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? It's expensive. I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Damn it, Crane. Open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? Should a beast? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? No, he didn't. <laughs> oh, the big bad wolf, motherfuckers! <laughs> <laughs> it was a good show, but you know, just take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is going to be a beautiful relationship, you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. <sighs> All right, no pump. I've been playing as a very nice guy. I don't know. I'm gonna think I'm gonna switch it up, cause I'm upset. I'm aggressive. I'm mad and I'm mean. And I'm bad. So I'm thinking I already killed D or Tweedle D or Tweedle Dumb. Which one did I kill? D or Dumb? Fuck it. Doesn't matter. I killed one of them. They look the same. So I'm so lonely. Hollow <clears throat> point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long term toxicosis. <sighs> Easy there. Try not to move. <clears throat> this hurts, fucker. Baby. Oh, we can't keep meeting this way, old boy. <laughs> I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Just stay still and let me finish. Swinehart, how bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Please, Bigby, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Yeah, let's set this motherfucker. Be a man or a wolf. Yes. Did I miss it or something? I didn't see the Y, I just kept, I just kept pressing the A. Oh. I'm popping back in place like a boss. Hmm, not bad. That'll do, I, I suppose. Be a doctor. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. 
There are limits to what even I can do. It's not like I asked for this shit to happen. Yes, but it's not like you actively discouraged it either. You know what, Doc? Shut your mouth. Just do your job. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with it. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's... You should turn on the lights. Out of the world. More woods. lighting. Believe be me, helpful. Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so... If you wouldn't mind... Don't worry, Snow. I should have told her to I'll stick be around. Okay. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, ah, I give us the time. Around. Damn it, I told you. What if they kill her, dude? Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. With what? Your hooves? Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. <gasps> is that like a sign? We'll be fine for light is that like a premonition? If he can figure out what that means. He's gonna get you. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but it's please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. In bed, yeah, what? I will. <laughs> He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. Snow has enough to deal with, Swineheart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? Swine's pig, and he's Colin's a pig. Play on words. <laughs> so, any real food? How do you, um, feel? Hmm, it's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Not as good as can be expected, I think. So, not well then. I had my arm broken and I had a shitload of silver. I'm glad you're not dead. Pieces in me. I'm glad I'm not dead too. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know. Oh, shit. When you passed out or, or died, I guess. You want to see a cool it, trick I can do with my hand? Um, <laughs> Kind of scared the hell out of me. It folds the wrong way. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him. He's never worried. And even he thought you were... Snow, I'd never leave you. Aww. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. <laughs> you look like when you take an action God, figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. <laughs> Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him, is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have, like, a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the Crooked Man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder... Yeah, uh... Thanks, Snow, for all that back there. 
No problem. Thanks. Oh. You're not pissed Fuck that you, Crane's Colin. thrown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. But it's not like we had a strong choice in the matter. Oh, I didn't even see what and the anyways, fuck I pushed, dude. And done it, Bigby would be dead, <laughs> and Kring still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? You know, I couldn't really give a shit what they want out of this. They just made the wrong fucking enemy. Yeah, I'm better Remember what Swineheart team. said, okay? They the fucked crooked with man the wrong wolf. declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. Let's go to war around the, the rest of the fables. The right way. What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. I can only do things the way I do them. And where has that left us so far? <laughs> Bloody Excuse me, up. but it's left us with a name. Maybe the name, the Crooked Man. That's not good enough. It's good enough for me. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. By the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter. <sighs> sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. Did he turn you on? We need <laughs> monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith all right. in our ability to help this it's town. It's calm snow I'll do down. better. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Right, exactly. Oh, no way Thank that. you. I'm crossing my fingers I'm behind my back, Colin. Don't worry. Up, <laughs> I'm gonna tear shit up. I think when it's I get the important. Chance. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to let you do it, I'm okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. You have my respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the oh, farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? Oh, man, this is like, don't put me on the spot. I'm highly medicated right now, yo. I can't make choices like that, decisions like that. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? He found the shard of glass. Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Crooked man. No. Woody. Narissa. Narissa? Who's that broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. Don't get but jealous, she'll no. she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Two of four. The Wasn't that the key table, also? Two of four? Over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. 
Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? I don't know. Snow come around, she's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Damn, dude. <laughs> what would you do? I mean, Colin is your friend. Fuck it. I'd buy Colin some glamour. That's what I'd do. We can have him glamoured up, and then he can stay and chill. Hey everybody, this is a hybrid. I'm gonna stop it right here. Uh, this is, I think this is a good spot to stop. Um, join me back for part two of episode four in sheep's clothing from A Wolf Among Us. Thanks for watching Below Average Gaming. Leave me a comment and come back next time because it's gonna get good. You know it always gets good. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.